Good morning. It is just after seven, and we have to get out of the hotel in order to get breakfast. So we're heading to the famous glass bridge today, um, and then we're actually going to plunge and then straight to our hot spring hotel. So that sounds relaxing. Except now I'm awake and I'm so tired. <laughs> Let's go breakfast. It's very simple Chinese breakfast food with mento, fried noodles, and porridge. Then we got on the bus to drive an hour to our first stop, the Gulong Gorge. The Gulong Gorge is another famous mountain river combo, most notable for its record-breaking glass structure combo, a glass suspension bridge and a glass platform. There is also a waterfall, rapid course, and zip line. We have made it to the Dai Sha Ju. Well, I don't really know how to say it in English, so I'm just put it there. Uh, we're gonna hike up to the glass bridge area, which is only built this year, actually. So. The walk up is well paved but feel twice as hot because of the humidity and heat. So we made it to the glass bridge. This is the one that is um, a little shaky. So yeah, I'm not actually that scared. I don't know why. But they're actually like 1.7 inch or something like that thick. So. Uh, close enough to see the waterfall now. Pretty cool, huh? We've had to take photos because of the cable running, but obviously we need the cable or oh, we'll die. Yeah, pretty much. Alright, so we're getting very close to the um, famous well record breaking glass bridge over there with the fake King Kong. And we kind of just realized that it's like it looking beautiful. The waterfall is semi man made. Yeah. Disappointment. <laughs> so we're at the um, Wild Record Breaking Bridge now, and um, we took some photos, and there's a lot of people, and they don't leave. This is kind of the reality of traveling in China. The like photo taking level is like crazy and they really genuinely don't care about you. The glass platform hangs 72 meters above the ground, the highest in the world. Together with the glass suspension bridge, they are 1,314 meters long, which means the whole life in Chinese. After that, it was time to return down to the exit. So another reality check of going on rip tour is that you have to have to wait for people. We've been here for like 40 minutes. It was about to be about 20 minutes ago and I think we're still... Oh, okay, I think we finally got everyone. Sad! For lunch, we tried the hybrid hot pot with the famous Korean chicken, which was better than expected, even if it did take a long time. After that, we headed to Yung Di. Hotel for the second night. It's the hot spring hotel. This is actually a top where there's hot spring available and this is the river view. We have a river view balcony which also faces the main town area. So ignore my really crappy hair, we are at the swimming pool of the hotel and it is surprisingly nice. So it was absolutely pouring when we got down here for the hot spring and then it just cleared up. Yeah, amazing isn't it? Because of the rain, we had the swimming pool and the hot spring all to ourselves, which made for the most relaxing and wonderful evening. <laughs>